everybody, it's Connie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you guys joined me today for a Tuesday tip, because let me tell you, today's tip is going to change your life. I promise you. I have got a free download for you today, and it is what I like to call the ultimate cutting guide. Guys, if you ever struggle trying to figure out how much cardstock can I get, how many pieces of cardstock can I get from one sheet of cardstock? You were making a certain project, you were making some thank you cards or birthday cards, and you wanted to know, I need to get X number of pieces, how many can I get? Well, Ultimate Cutting Guide is going to save your hiney, and let me tell you how this works. What you're going to do is you're gonna print out this free template. You guys like free? I hope so. Head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the March 19th, 2019 blog post. That's where you're going to find the free template, okay? That's where you can download this uh, chart. It's awesome. Now, I do recommend that you print it out on cardstock versus just copy paper. Listen, this is gonna get a workout in your stamp room. I promise you, it's gonna be all over the place, all over your desk. I also recommend that if you have a page protector, uh, put it in a page protector. Save that. We don't, it's going to get ink on it. You know it is. Uh, if your desk looks anything like mine, you're going to go and lay it on an ink pad or lay it on an inky stamp. So go ahead and protect that in a nice page protector. Trust me, you'll thank me later. All right. You've downloaded it. You've printed it. Now, what do you do with it? All right. Let's head over to the stamp table and I'm going to show you how you're going to use this really great template. All right, you've downloaded your tutorial, you've printed it off on cardstock, you're all ready to go. Let's talk about how to work with the template. So let's say you were creating some thank you cards and you wanted to find out how many of these banners can I get out of one sheet of cardstock? Cause you're making multiples of it. Guys, this banner is four and a half inches by one and a quarter inch. All right, so let's look at our template. I've got my 11 inch side here. I've got my eight and a half inch side here. Four and a half, I'm gonna scroll over to the four and a half inch mark. I'm gonna come down the eight and a half and let's look at one and one quarter. And I basically just come together and that box says 12. That tells me I can get 12 of these banners out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11 if I do my cutting on the uh, 11 inch side, that's my four and a half, and this one and the eight and a half inch side, and I cut it one and a quarter. Now, let's reverse that, because how do we know if that's the best use of our cutting? Let's come down the eight and a half inch side and look at four and a half inches, come across the longer side, 11 inches, and look at one and a quarter. What do we get? Oh my goodness, we get eight. We only get eight. Do you remember when we cut it this way, we got 12. Oh my goodness, yes, my friends, we now know we can get four extra pieces if we cut differently. That's how we save money on cardstock. We like to save money. Now, what if you were creating a card like this and you wanted to cut out a lot of circles? You wanna know how many circles you're going to get out of a sheet of cardstock. So that's a two and a quarter inch circle. So let's come over to our chart. It's a circle. So guess what? It's gonna be two and a quarter by two and a quarter. I don't have to go both directions because two and a quarter is the same either way. I now know I can get 12 circles out of one sheet of cardstock. How's that? Are you loving that? I love being able to find some clever ways to get you to save money and save that cardstock and get the most out of what you have. You're shook, right? I mean, this thing is really a true lifesaver. Just think about how much time and money it's going to save you. Just a quick swipe down, swipe from the left, and you're gonna know what is the best way to cut your cardstock, how you're gonna get the most out of every single piece. Like I said, guys, I love saving you money on your crafting supplies. I know it makes all of us happy when we got the most out of each and every piece, right? Guys, I hope you enjoy this uh, little template. I promise you, it's going to change your life. It's going to be one of the, your favorite tools that you have in your stamp room next to your Big Shot machine. So thank you so much for being a part of today's video. Remember, you can find the download at simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the March 19th, 2019 blog post. 
If you can't remember that, just go to the categories and look for Ultimate Cutting Guide. You'll find it there as well. All right, that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for being a part. Uh, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be yours. Uh, just be sure to choose me as your demonstrator and you'll find all the information there right there at simplysimplestamping.com. Hey, if you like today's video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to click subscribe. Get lots of tips and inspiration right here at my channel on YouTube, Connie Stewart. Have a fabulous day, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. Go cut some cardstock and make it a good one. Bye-bye.